Hi, my name is Imogen, thanks for clicking on this video. I make plant related content every Friday and today I'm going to be shopping on House of Kojo for some more house plants. For Christmas my mum got me a gift voucher for House of Kojo so I'm going to have a look at their site now and see if there's anything that I want to buy. Okay so I'm on the House of Kojo website now and okay let's see I've got new in plants to start with that melanocrysum is obviously beautiful but I don't quite want to spend £220 on one plant uh, my voucher's for £20 but I'm happy to spend more than that if there's some cool plants uh, okay there's too much can I instead house plants by variety oh okay um yeah let's have a look at Hoya I asked them the other day if they had any Carnosa compactor uh, in stock or coming in stock and they said no unfortunately um all that carry is nice I love the the heart shaped leaves and it's a proper sort of plant vine rather than just a single leaf um sparking my interest just yet uh, trying to think what else was on my wish list we had Calicia no um, yeah Alocasia I don't think we will have them a dragon scale no So I've got an Adansonia, I got to Oh, the Monstera Zubia is so pretty, but again, slightly more than I wanted to spend at two hundred pounds. Oh, okay, some Pothos. I do have a shelf that needs a hanging plant off it, so let's have a look at that. Enjoy would be cute. I saw them at the garden centre the other day. Pinatum. 12 centimetres. Okay, so it's obviously not vining yet, but, or it's not like trailing yet, but it's definitely got sort of the vines there. That might be good. I think there is a difference between the Pinatum and the Cebu Blue. I think it's the the sort of fancier one. Um, I might just add that to my cart uh, <laughs> just for now so I don't forget about it. Oh actually yeah let's have a look at hanging plants and see if there's any other ones. Uh, lipstick plants. Um, oh yeah I wanted a um, oh, uh, philodendron micans. That was on my wish list wasn't it? Uh, I mean it'll probably be on here. Oh, okay, a variegated string of hearts. Uh, let's open that while I'm just looking here. That's quite cool looking. A Parthenosis. Okay, let's see that. So, Parthenosis. And the jungle species of climber. That does look quite cool. It kind of reminds me of my Bambino Arrow in that kind of leaf shape um, but then it looks like they've got sort of purple um, on the back of the leaves. Okay, a variegated string of hearts. I wonder if they've got a smaller one of that. Okay, I might put that in my cart as well again <laughs> just to sort of save it a little bit and then Philodendron micans. Oh, there you go. Uh, okay, there's lots room. Let's open up that. Squamiferum. Princess. I do quite like the Philodendron Malay 
gold, but yeah, I kind of want a trailing one. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't know. No, I think I think I just want to grow that from a cutting instead. Um, I'd rather get yeah more sort of interesting uh, plant or oh, one that yeah I know isn't as traded, I guess. Uh, it's like begonia. That snow cap is really pretty. Uh, okay, the, I mean that looks really cool. What about actually yes, I read yeah. So that string of hearts. Ah, okay, yeah, I've got a little one. Yeah, so I've got a hanging pot for twelve ninety nine, or just a little one for eight ninety nine. Oh yeah, go on then. I've been after a little, a little variegated one for a while. Not voiced that, but <laughs> um, look at Sansevieria. Oh, that's beautiful. Sold out, but... Um, okay, they don't have any watermelon in stock. That's quite interesting. Pepperonia columella? Col columella? Crocodile pepperonia. That is really weird growing. Interesting. I would quite like to see that. I guess growing, but I don't know. I don't know if it makes me feel a bit funny. They sort of leaves sometimes do. Um, okay. Oh, that's cute. That's only two forty nine. Your pepperomia op optipal. Um, that's like the one that I had that died. Let's just go and show everything. Quick. That's cool looking. Landera. Oh, okay, pots. Oh, okay, I don't want these. Caladium bulb. Oh, they've got loads, right? <laughs> Let's have a look at some caladium bulbs. These ones pre ordering, I suppose. Oh, okay, right. I do a separate bulb order. Those pots are cute with little glasses on. It's like me and my glasses on. Well, that's just yeah. I think a little a little grey one would look cute. Oh, okay. There we go. Stefania Erector. That's what I was talking about before. That is so cute. Okay, so it's quite short. I can probably, yeah, I can cut down a, a plant about Stefania Erector. I mean, £25 for an 8 centimetre ball, but I think I can. I have seen them cheaper, I think. So maybe not for now. Let's see what I've got in the basket. I think I'll only get one of these, so the jungle vine or the pinatum. I think that one's I'm leaning more towards the pinatum. So let's get rid of you. Uh, let's pots. Okay, so they've got a grey. Just one that's in my basket, white one and a bright yellow one. I do like the bright yellow one, but it's like the sort of raised bit where the eyeballs are. It's a bit weird. Um, no, I think I think grey is is the one for me. The little face of glasses, very strong hearts, and a prominent pinatum. So I'm gonna buy those now and. Yeah, through the magic of editing, I guess the next thing you'll see is when they arrive and I'll unbox them. I've just received my parcel from House of Kojo. So I ordered this on Friday at the end of the business day. So then it got dispatched yesterday, which was Monday, and arrived today, which is Tuesday. So I'm going to unwrap this now and show you the things I bought.
So everything was really nicely packaged in that cardboard box uh, with lots of these packing peanuts to keep all of the items safe. They also included a heating pack, so I think, yeah, this is the heating pack, this is the packaging, um, which is really good because obviously we're still in winter time. It's actually snowed here in Sheffield today. I don't think that the plants would have appreciated being in the freezing cold. So that's really good that they included this for free and it's still actually a little bit warm. So I think it's done its job. So now I'm gonna open the plants. Okay, so this is my little variegated string of hearts. And there we go. Obviously because the vines were kind of wrapped around the pot, there was a little bit of soil everywhere. So I'll sort of clean this up, but on first impressions that looks really cute. We've got a fair few vines and uh, some leaves which are really variegated, like that one, and ones which are less so, like that with the just sort of white edging on the leaf. But overall, it looks really nice. This one is really long. Uh, yeah, you can see how long it is there. Really pleased with that. So this is my Epipremnum pinnatum. Got a fair bit of soil. So I'll definitely need to hoover up a little bit, but that looks really nice as well. Um, we've got one kind of super long vine. The others are still kind of quite short, but it's nice to have a kind of bushy plant and I'm sure those will grow in pretty soon. But again, really pleased with that. It's one that I've not actually seen, I think, in real life before. And the leaves are really long and and lovely. But that leaf kind of, I don't know, is that a fenestration or is it just a sort of hole in the leaf? I think it's a fenestration. Yeah, let me know what you think. Um, but that'd be really good if it is uh, fenestrated. Uh, I kind of assumed that this would be quite a juvenile plant, but... Maybe not. And then my final item is a pot. Okay, so this is my new little <laughs> glasses pot. Obviously I have my glasses on today as well. Uh, can you see the similarities? That's um, a really nice size pot. I can't remember what size it was now, but maybe with, with a little bit of a, a room. Um, the Epipremnum looks lovely in there. I'll probably find a better plant to put in here. That is really cute. <laughs> it looks really daft, but I like it. All of my items from House of Kojo, I'm really pleased with. The packaging was really secure. I mean, you saw me struggling with the bubble wrap around the pot, but really that just means that it's well packaged and won't come loose. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and seeing how I shop online and also this sort of mini unboxing and I will see you in my next video. Bye.